From artwork and jewelry to even dances, there's so many ways to celebrate Native American culture, and the folks at the Indian Pueblo Cultural Center knew how to do it. Creativity. It's a skill many indigenous people have, and it comes in many forms. It's been uh, going on my 15 year this year. But before that, I used to do a ceramic pottery. That's okay. how I started my art. For Michael Tenorio, it's all about the paintings, a passion he loves to pursue over and over again. I like seeing people happy, putting their smiles on their face, and to make their homes beautiful. A similar feeling for the artist stationed next to him, coming from the Santo Domingo Pueblo. I grew up with my grandparents, my parents, and my brothers and sisters. We all made jewelry and I've kept it up all these years. Turquoise, the main gemstone in Christopher Chavez's collection. Jewelry that not only brings fashion, but education. Well, I hope that they take away the, the experience that comes with our knowledge of the, the villages. I tell them, you know, if it's one thing you would learn, it's who we are. When it comes to dancing, it's all of the above. Erin Vigil is a 10-year-old hoop dancer from Powake. Once you get into the rhythm of it, it starts to become fun. It's not just a dance. It's On a day like today, Vigil says the performance becomes extra special. What does it mean for you for a day like today? Um, it's nice because, you know, different cultures get to see what we bring to show to them. To truly represent a Pueblo, he's proud to call home. Reporting at the Indian Pueblo Cultural Center. Brian Albizu, KOAT Action 7 News.